Hey my lovelies, this is Matulu and today I'm showing you how to make a hot shroom sandwich. Yes, so here I'm just preparing my cheese sauce, cream sauce, you can call it what you want. We have Brazil nuts, pine nuts, sea moss, keen lime. I'm going to let that soak for roughly about half an hour. So moving on, we've got our king oyster mushrooms and the enoki. So you can literally chop this up as you please. Because some of you, you'd be like, do I have to chop it like this? Like, bruh, <laughs> it's okay. It's not that deep, okay? So we're just, we're just going to saute this with a bit of grapeseed oil, season it with some annatto, some allspice, a bit of star anise and fennel, a blend that I made, I made myself. Uh, add a little bit more of annatto just to give it some color. I'm going to add some sage, a bit of onion powder, and some date syrup. Now... Here's a little note. If you want to find like a, or create, sorry, like a coconut amino substitute, mix date syrup with key lime, a pinch of sea salt, maybe a drizzle of coconut water. Bam, there you go. So now moving on, we're working with our king oyster mushroom. Just gonna season it with basically the same seasonings. So, we're just going to saute it until it's, you know, well done. Hello, hallelujah. I discarded the water that the cheese ingredients were soaking in. I've added some wild garlic, fresh wild garlic, and fresh thyme. Now, you don't have to add the wild garlic all the time, but definitely sea salt, definitely what's that, a bit of onion, whether it be red or green, and key lime, okay? And a pinch of agave, which you'll see me add right now so i blended it i did like the consistency and the taste so i've added a bit more of the pine nuts as well as the sea salt and a bit of agave so now we're moving on to toasting pan toasting mind you mm -hmm. our whole grain spelt sourdough bread and now we're going to be moving on to our chili salad so to speak i don't really have a name for this one okay so it's just one habanero a bit of red bell pepper some red onion and a bit of key lime juice and a little bit of date syrup. Mix that, set it aside, let it marinate, you know. Ah, and some cherry tomatoes. Yes, this is a lovely salad that I know many of you would enjoy. You don't have to add the date syrup, you can just eat it as it is. Now, mm -hmm. so this here is your seaweed, but this one is infused with like olive oil and chili. It's amazing, it's amazing, I love it, okay. So I'm just layering my salad with that. Look at all of this. Ah, we have some Ugandan avocado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is for my husband. Yeah, I didn't eat all this. This is really not for me. As you can see, it's a lot. But look how beautiful this is. So now we're moving on to my own sandwich. With my one, I added some red clover sprouts near enough the same feelings so obviously we just have different shrooms this sandwich was amazing like huh, i think i might just go downstairs and make some right now wow yes hmm look at that hello see if you was to do some pan fried bloggo fries with this or kombucha squash uh, oh, girl, enjoy. 